And welcome back to ABC 7 Extra Sunday. I'm Mark Ross. Our guest is former owner and general manager of the El Paso Diablos, Jim Paul. Jim, as you were setting attendance records at the Dudley Dome and creating promotions, people outside of El Paso were starting to take some notice, weren't they? Absolutely. Uh, mostly minor league baseball operators. And they, they would come up to me at the winter baseball meetings where we all attended and say, what are you doing? You finished 18 and a half games out of first place and you set an attendance record. I said, well, come on down and we'll talk about it. So we went from four to eight to 12 and then we started that, uh, it was called the El Paso Promotional Seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, from those 12, it grew to when I sold it later and became athletic director at New Mexico State, 308 people came to it, including Notre Dame and LSU and uh, colleges too. Yeah, but you were getting national publicity, Sports Illustrated, Texas Monthly, the Washington Post, the LA Times, they were all doing stories about what was going on in little old El Paso, Texas. And it was great because all the stories were focused on what we did and how the people of El Paso reacted to what we were doing. And in, in, in every one of those articles, including the National Geographic one, I always said, it's, it, we were doing it for the people of El Paso. And the people of El Paso responded. They loved it. And when, the, when they came, all the national media that came and wrote these stories, they'd sit there and watch the people. And it was us, El Pasoans, yeah. that were reacting and doing all this stuff. And so when they wrote the stories about what we did, it was also about how it was reacted upon by the community. And when you draw 340,000 people one year, this community embraced what we were doing, and it was them, the Diablo fans. You were the first minor league ball team to bring in the San Diego Super Chicken. <laughs> how in the world did that come about? Now, he was a mascot for a radio station in San Diego. KGB. And he was known as the KGB's chicken. But I saw him a couple of times on TV, highlights and things of the San Diego Padres. And I'm watching that guy, and we developed a great relationship with the uh, general manager and president of the Padres, a guy named Bob Fontaine. I said, man, could you get that guy to come to El Paso? I think, he could re re I think he'd be really accepted very well here. And he said, oh yeah, he's a good guy. And the first three times he went to San Diego uh, Padre game, the chicken had to pay his way in. Then they made him kind of a feature. So anyway, so Ted Giannolis came to El Paso. We sold the place out and he was tremendous and El Paso people fell in love with him. And that's when I told him, I said, Ted, you, you can take, take this to another level. I will guarantee you I can get you 50 dates throughout uh, minor league baseball in a given year. You need to figure a way to do that. And that's what happened. He changed from the KGB chicken Two years later, he became the super chicken, and people loved him here. We had him three times a year. And we just uh, put up this picture here. <laughs> this, <laughs> you know, we ask our viewers to share their memories of Diablos baseball. Since we're talking about the chicken, I had to share this photo. Jaime Arrieta sent this in to us, and he wrote and said, this is a picture of my two-year-old granddaughter, Saris, at a Diablos baseball game at Cohen Stadium with the San Diego Chicken. This was the summer of 1992. And he says, I've been attending El Paso Sun Kings, Diablos, and Chihuahua games since 1961. Taken by my dad, I took my wife and kids and other kids while assigned to Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico. And now I take my grandkids. I'm looking forward to taking our recently born great grandson. I love that picture of the mm -hmm. chicken. And this is just some of the stuff that Ted Giannolis as the San Diego <laughs> Chicken was doing and I, now I guess he got full cooperation from the opposing team to, to do stunts like this. <laughs> yeah, he did and they were great. <laughs> oh, that's, that's amazing. That is amazing. All right, stay with us. My conversation with former El Paso Diablos general manager and owner Jim Paul continues. And here are some more memories from Diablos fans who responded on our KVIA ABC7 Facebook page. You're watching ABC7 Extra Sunday.